Hey, Internet. Hey, okay. Rachel's over there. Hello. We are doing yet another... Hi. <laughs> We're doing yet another tag response that was once again given to us by Chris and Victoria over at Two Vloggers More. And this is a childhood... Nostalgia. Nostalgia tag. Um, I've talked about these guys a million times, so just check them out. I don't They're need to tell awesome, you. They're awesome, awesome people. Yeah, Chris is okay. Um, <laughs> she's very nice. Chris is okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, Chris is okay. Um, basically, I think we got a set of ten questions. Yes. I'm going to have Rachel read and give her answers first, and that way I can think. Because um, I don't remember a lot of the questions. I did watch the video, guys. It was really cool. Um, I did ask Chris, because a lot of this is childhood. I said, what's the latest age-wise we can go to and he said roughly 15 so we'll give our answers the best we can or just however we feel like it okay, so okay. go ahead so number one is like a, a two-part question um the first part is what decades were you a kid during technically i guess it's the 80s and the 90s for me because i was only alive for like a year and a half in the 70s because you were born in... 78. So I'm an old lady. She is. <laughs> Very old and wrinkly. Um, the second part is... Um, do you think they were better um, than the current times? In the, do you think it was better in the 80s and the 90s than it is nowadays, basically? Okay. Um, Go ahead and give I, answers first. I would say yes. Just because I feel like kids in the 80s and the 90s use their imagination a little bit more. Yep. Um, however, if I was a kid nowadays, I would be so in love with all these video games that are hot right now. Okay. Anyway. All right. So, uh, yeah, I was 80s and 90s as well. I was born in 81. And basically, I'm going to say the same damn thing as Rachel. I think it was better then because of the... The technology wasn't there in your face. You're not. You had to go outside and be creative. Mm -hmm. Or like me, I had. To, you know, I stayed inside. I didn't like going outside very much. Because all my friends wouldn't play sports, and I was a fat kid, so I couldn't play sports. And it, but it forced me to be creative, like writing or like the action figures I played with. I, I made stories with them and stuff like that. It forced you to be creative. It forced you to do research on things, you know, the old way. You didn't have Google or the internet or all that, so it was better back then. Yeah, agreed. And the toys are so much fucking cooler too. Everything's electronic. Yeah. Nowadays, and breakable. I mean, I want yeah. the I want the super tough. Lead paint toys that if you lick, you got sick. You know, those yeah. type of, you know, good ones. Or like the Barbie dolls that you can, you know, throw down the stairs and they yes. still survive. Yes. These, you step on one on accident and it's broken in two. Yeah, that recently happened here. Our daughter had a headless Barbie because Rachel stepped on it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, question two. What were your favorite toys? Mine was Barbie... Barbie was my first go-to toy. I probably played with it way too long. And I think this question is not counting video games. Because I think there's a video game question later. Yes, later there is. Okay, so, so this is just... Yeah, you know, this is toys, just like physical toys, not like Nintendo right. or anything. So, Barbie was my go-to. I played with her probably long, way longer than I probably should have. Because I remember wanting to play with her way longer than I should have. Um, and then if I didn't have Barbie, it was My Little Pony at that time to play with. Okay. Me, I had a shitload of Ninja Turtles. Love the Ninja Turtles. Um, I, uh, I'm sure Chris knows what I'm talking about because he likes a lot of obscure stuff from that era. Um, the Toxic, uh, Crusaders, uh, toys. It's based on the Toxic Avenger movie. Mm -hmm. Um, I had almost all of those. He-Man, of course, and yes, I had She-Ra toys too. Not She-Ra, but I had the villains because they were the coolest villains. But overall, I was a G.I. Joe guy. I played with those guys all the time, and I hated the weapons. I didn't like. I threw all the weapons in the garbage. Yeah. And what I did is I had them like fist fight and do wrestling moves and stuff like that. And for a while, I did. Uh, you know, I played with a lot of uh, wrestling toys, like the old shitty. WWF toys, and you know, that you know, you pulled the arms back and then they, they 
you know, through oh, the guys like and stuff. My, like, like my uh, like He-Man. He, the He-Man doll. He would, his body would go. Yeah. He'd punch. So. <laughs> um, and number three is favorite shows as a kid. Um, I put the Mickey Mouse Club because I watched that religiously <laughs> early 90s, late 80s. And then also... Either Kids Incorporated was on right before or right after, so that was the next favorite of mine. And, yeah. and go. <laughs> well, me, there was a lot, because, again, I said I was a fat kid, so I didn't go outside. So, a lot of mine was, let's see, you know, Ninja Turtles cartoon. I watched a lot of Nickelodeon, like Rugrats and Doug. I hated Doug, but Ren and Stimpy. Um... <laughs> Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap was a favorite of mine growing up. The Simpsons. Uh, Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers. I didn't watch a lot of those TJF shows, but that was just because it was Friday night, and you know, There's fat kid has no do. fat kid has no friends, so he doesn't go hang out. Um, yeah, all those I just said. I'm sure there's plenty more that I can't think of, but off the top of my head. Yeah. Alf. I watched a lot of Alf growing up. Loved Alf. Watched Roseanne a lot with my mom and dad. And, of course, pro wrestling. Yeah. Um, the next one, um, top three favorite childhood movies. Obviously, yeah, it was a little tough for me, too, because there were several I watched repeatedly. Um, Sleeping Beauty I put for one. Um, the Goonies I put for another one. Just a fun movie. Mm-hmm. And it sounds strange, but I watch I watched the heck out of the sound of music growing up. I could probably quote that movie. Every time I was sick I would put that movie in and it would yeah. make me feel better. Let's see here. This is gonna be tough for me, so I'm gonna cheat and I'm not gonna pick just three. But I'm gonna pick like a handful. Howard the Duck. Uh-huh. Watched it a million times. Know that movie from front to back. I don't care how many people hate it. The Monster Squad. That's probably one of the films that I watched almost as much as Howard the, du- Howard the Duck. Fun 80s cheese. It's like the Goonies versus the mm-hmm. Universal Monsters. Um, Little Shop of Horrors. I love that movie. I know pretty much I could, if it was on TV right now, I could probably speak along with it and not miss a beat, including the songs. I even had the song on my, the soundtrack on my iPod. Um, fuck, Critters. My favorite sci-fi horror movie. I've watched that so many goddamn times since childhood, but I've watched it a lot. And I'm going to surprise you. And yes, I didn't have the best parents when it came to what I watched when I was in elementary school. The Exorcist. Now, in my mother's defense, it was the USA edited version. I did not see any cross-masturbation or... Vulgarities towards Jesus. I, that wasn't until high school. Movies, vulgarity that was, against Jesus. <laughs> that wasn't until high school when I saw the unedited version. But my mom knew what I could handle back then. She was into horror movies, and uh, she said, "Hey, watch this." You know, I watched it when I was a kid and scared the piss out of me. And then I'm like, "Wow, this is spooky, but it's not scary at all. It's kind of cool." But yeah, hmm. so yeah, don't judge my mother, okay? When I watch The Exorcist a lot. <laughs> this one's hard, this next one. Um, it tells about a um, a birthday party that was like your favorite birthday party. Um, or birthday experience. Um, I had several birthday parties growing up. The ones that I can remember is I had one really big slumber party. I think I was in it's a slumber party. The Yay. second grade and pretty well all the girls in my class came. So there was probably like 15, 15 second graders Ew. and <laughs> hanging out in their basement and doing who knows uh, what. And then uh, I also had We are not having 15 second graders over <laughs> at her apartment at her birthday. And then um, I also had I think it was a surprise birthday party at a pizza hut that I remember and I 
totally thought totally thought my parents forgot my birthday, I remember. But those are the ones that I can mm -hmm. think of, at least. I don't remember the birthday parties and what we did so much. I remember bits and pieces, a lot of that. I didn't really have a lot of extravagant birthdays. I really didn't give a shit. So, but I do remember some random things. I remember one year, uh, my mom knew some lady who can draw very well on cakes, so I asked her to put a gremlin on a birthday cake. Because I, we'll put that gremlins. That's another childhood movie. Um, I asked her to put a gremlin on a cake, and mom brought home the cake, and it wasn't a gremlin. It was Gizmo. <laughs> Close enough. Which was cool, but it was funny because she even wrote, The Gremlin says, Happy Birthday to Eric. Aww. But that was neat. It was really cool, and it looked just like fucking Gizmo. Um, let's see. I remember, like, just bits and pieces. I remember one year, it was just us at home, and my dad bought me my own personal little cake, and it was a spider cake, but the spider, you know, fat kid, uh, the spider was made out of a chocolate donut and decorated, <laughs> so I remember that. And I remember I had a cousin who had a birthday maybe like a week and a half before mine. This isn't my birthday per se, but I remember we all went to Domino's Pizza and they rented out the place and we got to make our own pizzas. Oh, that's fine. Too bad Domino's Pizza sucks. Now they do. They yeah, taste but like cardboard. That's all I really remember. I mean, my birthdays were very, very low key unless like one year we probably went bowling or something. We did bumper bowling and I still sucked at bumper it. Bumper bowling? I sucked. How do you do bumper bowling? You my parents never did that. I mean, they were like, well, my kid, parents... you're going to learn this, and you're going to learn this the real way. Well, my parents love me more than your parents love me. <laughs> okay, so, number six. Favorite board game and video game. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, for board game, I, I put Clue. She stole my answer. Um, And then I also put the game Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Um, for video games, <laughs> on Atari, I put the first Mario Brothers game. Okay. And then on Sega was Aladdin, because I don't, I didn't have a Nintendo until I met you, so. I hooked you up there. <laughs> um, board game for me was Clue. Um, I didn't really play a lot of board games, because my brother was five years younger. I didn't like checkers. Checkers were stupid. Chess. Chess, I guess. That wasn't really till high school, but... I was more, you know, G.I. Joes and stuff like that, you know, because I didn't really have a close, close relationship with my brother growing up, so who the fuck am I going to play shoots and ladders with myself? Yeah. I was already fat. I, You know, I didn't want to be that much more of a loser. <laughs> um, you know, uh, let's see. But, yeah, Clue. Clue was fun. Oh, video games. Damn. Now, this is going to be tough. So I'll just like pick my favorites. And then like I said, gotta stay in the age range. For Nintendo, I'm gonna say Maniac Mansion. It is a point and click game where it's basically kind of a homage to fifties science fiction movies where you have a group of kids and you go into the mansion, try to rescue um, the main character's girlfriend who's gonna have her brain taken out by its mad scientist. Mm -hmm. You know, we got our my play it on my computer all the time and my, my daughter loves watching me play um Contra on Nintendo lots of Nintendo The Legend of Zelda um and then when I got to Super Nintendo I'm gonna cheat but when I got to like junior senior year Chrono Trigger yeah. favorite my favorite Super Nintendo game of all time but favorite video game would be Maniac Mansion of all time um Hey, tell us about a childhood holiday or vacation you fondly remember. I'm thinking when they say holiday, they mean yes. vacation. Yeah, okay. they are in England, so we're assuming when you say holiday, vacation. If you mean other holiday, like Christmas or something, you're shit out of luck, guys. <laughs> you're picking vacation. So, we went on... Vacation. I had I have several fond memories of vacations um, growing up, but the ones that stick out um, was when we went to Denver, Colorado, and we took the train out to Denver, Colorado, and it was, I don't know, it was just a fun experience going on a train for that long, and 
Then we went up on Pikes Peak. Um, it was in the middle of the summer, and we were up on the top of the mountain in shorts and t-shirts, and there was snow on the ground, and we thought that was the funnest thing ever. And mm. um, It's pretty scary driving up that mountain, though. Um, <laughs> and then the other one is, of course, Disney. We went to Disney when I was younger, and then later on for our honeymoon, I went with you again, so... But we weren't children. No, we weren't children. That is that, wrong. That's gross. Exactly. <laughs> but when this I was... This isn't India or whatever. <laughs> we don't get married at 12 years old or whatever. But, We're not Mormon. But Disneyland is just... It's just awesome. It was fun. It's it's fun, you know. Magic Kingdom, the whole bit. Um, how about you? <laughs> oh... Didn't go on a lot of vacations because, again, we were we didn't have a lot of money. But I do remember going with my mom and my brother and my mother's dad, so my that grandpa. We would all we would go to Tennessee a lot to visit my cousins and my aunts, and then that was always fun. We'd always stay there, and they were like backwoods Tennessee, <laughs> like you know, bumpkins drinking beer out of. Not not that bad. You could no. go on you could go on canoe trips with them and not worry about getting raped in the woods. But it was basically like, you know, tobacco spit and drinking, yeah. you know, out of the the jugs and stuff like that. Backwood stuff. Um mm-hmm. but they were fun. You know, it was nice, you know, driving there and it took like us a day and a half and stuff like that. And we make pit stops. It was fun going with grandpa. Um, and then when we got a little older, they moved to Indiana, so we drove to Indiana and hung out mm-hmm. there for, for, you know, a week. So, just going and seeing our hillbilly family, I guess. Gotcha. Um, what's something you collected as a kid? Well, <laughs> holy shit, I collected I... sinus problems. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I collected a lot of stickers. I have a lot of sticker books. And then I also, for some reason, collected a lot of bookmarks. I didn't really have that many books because I didn't read a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, you gave me a lot of your but, bookmarks. But for some reason, I don't know, we would go places and then like they'd have kids make bookmarks. So I have all these bookmarks and everything in a shoebox. <laughs> um, me? Like... Rachel said I collected, I had sticker books, but they were mainly filled with Garbage Pail Kids stickers. You know what those are, right? Yes. Oh, the the wonderfully the freaky, disgusting. The Fingish Cabbage Patch Kids. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I had a whole book full of those. They were so disgusting. And again, it was my mom who got me into it. You I know? think I had one of those, one or two um, of those stickers. Those were so cool. And then I saw the movie, and oh my God, that was garbage. Wow. Um, but I collected those. Uh, Monster in My Pockets. Those were fun things to collect. They're like little mm-hmm. rubber monsters, you know, like Dracula and Frankenstein and then random stuff like the mummy and... Was that like Polly The and Griffin. The no. Were they like that little Polly they were, they, they were little rubber monsters. But I did... Speaking of Polly Pocket, I had the guy's version, which was Mighty Max. Oh. Those were... I collected quite a bit of those. And not just talking regular, like, action mm-hmm. figures and stuff like that. Um, and then when I got to middle school, I got into Stephen King, and then I started collecting all of his books. Gotcha. Which I now have every single one of them, and I will never get to finish them all. And I'll, I'll probably die before I get halfway through his his library. Gotcha. Um, do you still have any of the toys or games you held dear as a child? Well, I guess I'll do, and I'll show you a few right now. Go ahead. Um, ah! This is Bogart. Hi, Bogart. Um, this is Kirby. Ah. Says he loves me. <laughs> and this is Annabelle. Here, let's move that out of the way. That's oh. Annabelle. Oh, hi, Annabelle. Eric's gonna cuddle her. Thanks. <laughs> for the whole video? Yep, for the whole rest of the video. Okay. And then I have several others, but I'm not gonna get them all out. Thank Jesus. <laughs> Uh, me? I think he's in Boo's room. Oh, okay. You can go look real quick. I'll go grab She's going to go run over into my daughter's room somewhere. But um, I had a couple My Pet Monster dolls, like regular size My Pet Monster dolls. And it pissed me off when they got ruined in a basement flooding. Um, but I would still have him if that didn't 
get ruined. Um, in the basement, I'm not going to make my wife go down in the basement, but I still have. Good. You can check my older videos. When I'm in my basement doing movie reviews, you'll see my gizmo doll you know, from Gremlins hanging from like a pole or something. He still works. He still squeaks. I still have him. I used to have a stuffed plush pink bird looking thing that was also mm -hmm. ruined in the basement flooding with my pet monster and I called her, her Mimi Bird. <laughs> I don't know why. She played so music. Mm -hmm. And then Rachel went and grabbed my original elf doll. Thank you. And yep, and it's still the original one from 1986 and Rachel hates elf and I hate her for it. But yeah. Oh, stop it. You still love me for saying it. But yeah, he still even got his... Lift his butt up. He still got his little... His, his little tags. tags and everything. Saying copyright 1986 or something like that. You can't really read it because they're all faded. But yep. And my elf doll. So, gotcha. That was fucking hot. Oh, oh great. Girl. Nice. They got, they got a full view of elf crotch. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Anyways. Last question. Thank Jesus. It's getting warm. Did you did you ever take toys into school for show and tell? I'll if quickly so, answer and say no. Alright, the rest is yours. If so, what? Never did. I'm sure he took some toys, but the one thing that I can I can remember the most in second grade is I was in love with Ralph Macho from Karate Kid. So my sisters Got me the soundtrack to the Karate Kid Two movie, and I and I took that in, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is my favorite." I, I, Back I on cassette, him. kids, before cassette we had you know MP3s and iTunes and that's everything. That's what we used to listen to in the music. That's right. Yeah, so I took that in, and I was all proud of it. <laughs> and like I said earlier, no, no I didn't. Never? I didn't like. I didn't like showing off my stuff. Because I'm so anal retentive on like the condition of my stuff, I didn't want kids breaking it, getting their boogers on it, shoving it up their butts, none of that stuff. <laughs> because that's what you did. Who knows, man? <laughs> you got those kids that eat the fucking glue. Who knows what they're gonna do with your GI Joe? I'm never gonna, you know, touch Snake Eyes again because he's a different color now. Crooks. You never know, man. But why are his eyes black? Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, nope, never did. Huh. Okay, that was the last question. All right, then. <laughs> We're ending on a positive note. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. Two vloggers more. Mentioned them a billion times. Um, either just type in two vloggers more in the search on YouTube, or if you're on your PC or computer or whatever, go in my featured channels. You'll see their picture right there. Click on them. Give them a sub. Check out their stuff. Really good channel. Um... I'm going to tag someone. I already talked to him, and he said, bring it on. Um, I watched him off and on YouTube. He's got two channels. Um, uh, Angel Tarragon, I'm going to tag you. Um, he has his own personal channel, just Angel Tarragon, where he does, they used to be daily, but I think they moved to weekly vlogs. Um, lets you into his life. Very interesting stuff. And then he has a second channel, I think, I think it's, don't shoot me if I butcher it, I think it's Tarragon Multimedia Unlimited. I don't know. I'll put the links to both of his channels in the description. So I'm going to tag you, Angel. I'm really interested in seeing your answers. And you're going to be the only one I tag because oh, I'm not going to tag, Roger. I'm not going to tag Roger for the 100th time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give him a break. Um, so yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Click the fucking bell. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, if you still want to do the tag, let us know. We'd love to hear it. It's okay. It's okay. But nope. if they want to do it, they can. No, they can't. Only only Angel can. Jeez. Or not. I don't really care. I just felt like arguing with her. Um. So, yeah. Like, subscribe. I already said that. Cheers. And I don't know how to end it, so I'm just going to say goodbye. Mm.